those vagrants. I am disappointed that you did not do what was right. However, all that comes to pass is within Lyria's plan. Time and faith will reveal her vision. Bless you, child. You should not have given those wretches the wand. Now they will cling to that ruined farm. They stain the sanctity of our land. What other god or goddess holds magic, mystery, and fate in her hands? None. You would be wise to seek her favor. not Dill the White, nor the Priestess. Have you come to laugh, or to beg me for oracles? It was he and the Priestess who put me here. He returns from time to time to sputter and gloat with his scarred thoughts. They brought me here to know the future, wanting riches, Wanting luck, when I could give them none of those things, they spat and called me to Atha and left. She saps the power from my limbs and uses it for her own. She is as the cypress, standing tall in a calm, yet bending in the slightest breeze. Nothing at all. I sit in reverie. I cannot stretch beyond the confines of this circle. It is a prison of powerful magic. The magic of the children of dust. Magic that is strange to me. Because the priestess and Nil the White put me here, and I cannot leave. Yes, more than anything. But as you see, I cannot. There is the gate which Nil the White can unlock with his key. And there is the circle, my true prison, which can be broken by words only the priestess herself knows. Is that why you have come? You will need Nil's key to open this gate. The magic words of the priestess will release me from her circle.
The gate swings open, but I am no freer than I was. Can you break this circle, mortal? there stand forth I'd like to know just what you've been doing in there on second thought no I'm much happier not knowing fine day to you he's the priestess's old watchdog that's what he is and my commander she says bark he barks bite he bites he keeps me in the militia orderly and sits on his bench that's all I imagine it's a fine enough village, if you don't mind some going on about Lyria, and you're not a refugee. Not much I can tell you about the good priestess. For one, I'm not sure she can't hear us even now. Her power covers this town, and she coddles it like a newborn child, smothers it sometimes, if you ask me. I'm paid to guard this cove, and that's what I do. No one enters, no one leaves. None but the good priestess, or old white nil. It's what we've got for a prison here. Common sails off that way. They don't get much use. Hardly none at all. Then there's, well, there's what lies beyond this door. Which is neither for you nor I to go poking about in. Go in there and see for your damn self. I won't stop you. I. Refugees aren't welcome here. Cerebell in the eye and tell her she's got to leave her own farm. I couldn't. No vagrants, no beggars, no fay. No crime troubles this pious village. Wouldn't like to see that change now, would it? This is the sanctuary where we worship and where our priestess lays her head. We pray to the goddess Lyria. When war raged in Erethel, we found the words of our priestess to guide and shield us.
Here, Lyria's name is always on our lips. I am sure I don't know what you are speaking of. Do what? Are you accusing a daughter of Lyria of... of... Do you know who I am? If you persist in speaking nonsense, I will ask you to leave Tyran's rest. I have nothing more to say to you. You are forgiven, as it is Lyria's nature to forgive. You, there. See that a guard keeps watch within my sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs>